Hi guys, Sherry here from No Fucks Giving Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a twin flame reading um, for August the 31st until September the 14th. So it's going to be for a two week period. Um, I've had some pretty big towers um, come down on me recently. So the, there's some things I need to deal with. So yeah, it'll be for a two week period. I'm almost kind of scared to do this reading because it was pretty accurate. The last couple of readings have been pretty accurate. So, all right. So I'm going to do it. Um, uh, the main spread with the John Holland Psychic Tarot of the Heart. Um, so I'll pull the cards now. Okay, and my cards. And I just want to thank everybody again for all of your support. If you've um, ordered readings, I'm getting to them. Um, yeah, the, the orders have been crazy. Oh my God. Uh, that's another reason why um, I wanted to do the bi weekly reading just this time around. It's not going to be um, you know, a forever thing. So, um, there's about a two-week wait for your readings. Um, hopefully, that'll give me a chance to get back on track. All right. So, beginning with the feminine um, past position. Okay, so these are all going to be upside down. Um, anyway, uh, the Ace of Cups. Awesome. So, the Ace of Cups usually means a brand new beginning of love. So, this card usually shows it itself when um, you've healed yourself. You, you've let go of pain. You've let go of stories. You've forgiven yourself as well as other people. And you're truly open to receive love into your life. So, you're an open vessel for love. So, it usually means that there was a new love offer or... Um, or it, it could also be a spiritual experience as well. The Nine of Cups. Wow, the Two of Cups. And the Five of Pentacles. So, past position, Nine of Cups. This is wish granted. So, on an emotional level, you feel like you've arrived. You, you feel satisfied. Um, you were at a place where, you know, you were just enjoying life, um, being surrounded by friends and family and going out and, you know, um, having a lot of abundance of love coming into your life. Okay, so some of you may have felt like your dreams were coming true. There was this emotional bliss, basically. And I was just noticing that the nine and the one here is like a ten of cups energy so of, you know that's a completion and arrival so there's a sense that you know for some twins who are in contact um, there's a deep spiritual bond and love that is really being expressed so there's newness and excitement and celebration so the two cups is spiritual union uh, so this is recognizing your twin flame and then having that heart chakra blasted wide open um, and you know it it raises your consciousness it kind of looks well actually there is an eye here in that heart so you know this is the motor the heart that drives consciousness and so that's front and center energy and it's bringing a lot of abundance and, and love um, into the feminine's past life so the future position is the five of Pentacles um, this is a feeling of being left out in the cold, like a disconnected energy, um, feeling like you don't have any help, um, 
it's also a financial loss as well and for some it could be a welcomed loss you want to release yourself from something and you're, you're willing to take that hit um, in the material world you might have to give up something in order to find your freedom perhaps so here we have love this is all cups love 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 emotions um, and celebrating that however then we got the 3d reality kind of hit you um, and realize that you there is something that you needed to give up or have given up um, in the future position so um, I think we're just going to continue on with the cards I was going to pull some clarifiers but I'll just leave it be see what the rest says okay so for the masculine past position six of pentacles giving and receiving you know, it's it's almost like the masculine is in, in this giving mode. Um, you know, there's a lot of offers coming into him, and plus he's he's giving his energy freely. So the sixth, and you know, and here over here, there's that offer of love. We got the heart chakra over here. Um, so the feminine is feeling this opening with the six of pentacles. Um, so. You know, this is priming the pump of gratitude. When you give, you receive. Um, it's, you know, it's also the law of attraction as well. If you put out good vibrations, those vibrations will come back. Now, the Six of Pentacles is also the cohabitation card. Um, so it's, you know, sharing your, your life with somebody in the 3D reality. So let's see what else is going on. So judgment. The tower. And the sun card. I wish I could remember the readings for the past couple of weeks specifically, um, but I do know, you know, there was this epiphany, illumination, and tower and sun that really played a major role in the reading for the masculine last week. I can't remember the specifics about it. Um, so, judgment card. This is a grand awakening, right? You know, life is just the movie. Uh, so you can create the plot, the characters, um, you know, create this reality for yourself, um, the one you've already dream or always dreamed of. Uh, but really, what I see here is an awakening, an epiphany. Um, you know, once you're awake, you're always awake. You're never going to fall back into that um, sleepy state. Uh, so it's a constant process of, you know, trying to make changes in your reality without being sucked back into the matrix, if you want to call it that. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, the journey of, uh, of awakening is a long, long journey for sure. So it looks to me like the masculine kind of reviewed his life, um, saw you know things for the way they really are um, and made some judgments you know judgment calls um, you know this is weighing um, evaluating uh, that kind of thing so and the present position is the tower card uh, so this is you know a bolt of lightning out of the blue comes in and drastically changes your reality so the masculine the 3D reality shifted for him. Um, remember that the Six of Pentacles is feeling like you have abundance and stability, uh, enough to share your riches with others, right? Um, and then here we have a tower, you know, destroying that reality, destroying a foundation. Um, now the tower, the tower's destruction is always meant for your good. Um, it clears away the old so that a new could be born of it and you can see that with the Sun card in the future position here and this is actually a rebirth so this is birth and rebirth um, and I'm just being drawn to the cards that I actually have in this house of cards I never really actually looked at them I think I got two or sorry, I got the Ace of Spades, the Three of Spades, and I think that's Swords. Uh, and then I got the Four of Cups, or Four of Hearts, right? And I think that's Cups. Um, 
the Jack, I think, would be the Knight of, of Swords, and then the Seven of Diamonds. 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 I almost feel like a club is pentacles. So diamonds would be wands, I guess, right? So the Seven of Wands is finding your power and strength. Three of Swords is heartbreak, loss. Um, the Knight of Swords is a, a gust of wind. Oh my God, a gust of wind that comes in and, you know, changes reality. It shakes things up and, uh, you know, fights for truth and justice and uh, clears away, um, you know, any of the old. Uh, the Four of Cups is, you know, somebody offering you a cup of love and you turn your back on it. Um, or a disconnect, feeling like things aren't going anywhere in a relationship. And then the Ace of Swords is a decision. Ultimately, you hold that sword in your hand, you make the decision, and clearly this relationship is not going anywhere. It's causing heartbreak and pain. And so from the core of who you are, you need to find your strength and stand up, um, you know, break through that tower, break through that fire. And in the future position, we have that fire with the sun, you know, the sun is explosive. It's uh, it's life giving. It's masculine energy as well. But here we see here the eclipse, and I I didn't even realize I drew the eclipse when I made the card. I made that realization <laughs> during the eclipse. Actually, I'm not sure why I did that. It's kind of weird. Um, but anyway, the sun card is the most page um, positive major arcana. So you know it's. Um, manifestation rewards uh, it is illumination um, new beginning and a return to innocence so it is a birth a new start a new day right so it feels to me like the masculine really reviewed his life um, and welcomed the tower on some level uh, and it's so that a new beginning can happen, so that he can create the life that he's always wanted to in the 3D reality. So, I mean, the tower could just be like a realization. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that your home life is completely destroyed, um, although it could for some people. It's, you know, the tower could be positive or negative. Um, it's all, it all depends on your perspective. Okay. So, um, the feminine's present position, feeling alone, five of pentacles. So it's the same card that's in the past future position. So the past future, um, could be, could have already happened or is still yet to happen. Um, so the feminine right now is feeling disconnected, feeling alone. Um, you know, she's standing on the edge of this cliff and she's looking at a home off in the distance and there's you know, river separating her and, and some marsh and probably a mountain she needs to climb down. Um, but the moon is lighting her way. You know, the moon is a feminine energy. Um, and I see it as a positive thing in this card. And, and she also has her own lantern with her to light her way. So there, it seems to me that she's being tested, the feminine. Um, you know, she feels disconnected in 3D, but she is carrying her own light, um, and she will find her own way. Wow, the Eight of Cups, Queen of Cups, and a Strength card. Past position, Eight of Cups. So, um, this rings true for me. Uh, the Eight of Cups is you know, deciding to release or walk away from an emotionally draining situation, something that has been pulling you down for a very long time. So this person here um, has left eight cups behind, so they hold no value for him whatsoever. So, you know, with my tower, I've had to release some things. Um, and so, 
it's in the past position. So the feminine has already made this cho choice and has already walked away. So this is a pilgrimage of self-discovery. So this disconnected energy feeling alone has been self-inflicted, but it's been for her higher good. It's almost like, you know, she has this lantern here and she's taking one final look back before she goes off on her own. So the Queen of Cups it could represent a water sign, um, but this is a divine masculine, or the d divine feminine who is feeling emotional. Um, you know, water is emotions. Um, now, she isn't the king, so there's a sense that with the queen, there's not a lot of stability in the emotions that she's feeling at the moment. She's being consumed. I mean, you can see how. And, you know, this energy of masculine walking away um, could be, you know, making her feeling that this disconnect as well. But um, all this water coupled with this five of pentacles is telling me that right now she, the feminine, is feeling a, a bit disconnected, heartbroken, and, um, but it's, she's doing it because she has to. So the Queen of Cups is someone who's intuitive, um, who, who follows her heart, um, and she loves unconditionally. Okay, so the future position is the strength card. So here I have two lines. I just, I'm, I'm going to be explaining the cards a little bit more as I go along here because I've been getting some questions. Oh, what is that thing? What is that thing? And so, um, in case you can't see the pictures very well, I have um, a, fe a female line and then a masculine line. And the masculine line is kind of nudging her using this compassionate, gentle energy in order to tame her. Okay, so this strength card is all about taming the beast within you know, that animalistic nature to lash out at somebody because they're hurting you or, you know, um, calming somebody down who is, you know, anxious or out of control, that kind of thing. But you do it with this gentle, loving nature. Okay, so in the future, the feminine, you know, has released something in the past, okay, and she is in this emotional state um, but there's a lot of love in her heart um, and she's moving on from something and it's going to take a lot of strength and courage in order for her to to release that but also to um, you know to heal herself as well you know this card is self-love right um, it's taming yourself in order to deal with something that's going on in the external environment. So this is all about self-control, self-love, that kind of thing. Okay, so the present position for the masculine is nine of pentacles, well-deserved reward. So three pentacles so far and one cup. So the 3D reality seems to be pretty important. So the Nine of Pentacles, well-deserved reward. This is uh, a major sense of accomplishment. We have a six that has grown into a nine. So that tree is grown full. It's standing tall and the fruit is is ripened and, you know, falling from the branches. Um, so there there is major abundance coming into the masculine's life in the 3D. And so he feels very strong. Um, he feels independent. Um, he feels like he has a lot to offer the feminine or um, you know this is a, an arrival card as well. I mean the Ten of Pentacles is a completion but this is you know a lot of success. And you should be, you should feel, you know, you should have this kind of abundance coming into your life. Um, if you are giving this energy, if you are sending this energy out into the reality, it will come back to you in a, in a good way, that's for sure. Okay, so, three of wands, lover's card, eight of wands. 
So, there's a lot of passion and fire that I see here and desire, longing, um, and communication as well. So the past position, Three of Wands, this is, you know, okay, the, the Ace of Wands is a brand new beginning starting from zero. It's an epiphany, aha, realization. And then you take that wand and you walk through this door. Your mind expands. Uh, you make that decision to follow your higher calling, your purpose. Um, you know, n not live for the material world, but for yourself. Do the things that make you happy. Um, not being caught in the machine, that kind of thing. So the decision was made to walk out that door. The mind expanded. You could see all the possibilities. You saw how you were connected to everything. And as a result of that, you started to see, you know, abundance coming into your life. You can see that with the sun card. There's this massive energy that's on its way towards you. Okay, so spirit is giving you the thumbs up. There's still a little bit of a weight involved, um, but that's not far off because we can see here with the eight of wands, that is full manifestation of your dreams, of your desires. Um, so a major accomplishment is coming. But let's not get ahead of ourselves because we have the lover's card here in your present, present moment. Nine of Pentacles. You feel grounded. You see, feel successful. You, f you see this long-term vision um, with your, your feminine. The lover's card, however, represents passion, desire, that deep um, love that you feel for your twin flame or soulmate. Um, so, you know, this is like a passion ignited and um, it, but it's a longing energy. It's wanting that connection. So this is what's driving the masculine um, forward. And he feels, you know, like I said, successful, grounded. He's getting a thumbs up. So the Eight of Wands is in the future position. So this, for me, is my second most important communication card. I have somebody texting on the phone. So instant messenger um, or phone calls or social media uh, oh yeah I want to mention yeah I um, I shut down my Facebook also uh, for a couple of weeks it's just temporary um, I need to you know focus on myself as well as these readings uh, right now so yeah so don't be alarmed if you have noticed that my Facebook account is closed it's just temporary Okay, so um, the Eight of Wands, communication, it's Cupid's arrows. So um, this could be the masculine sending love out into the universe and then it coming back and manifesting. Or this is your dreams, your desires, your passions being manifested. So it is, you know, um, manifestation on a massive scale with the Eight of Wands. So major sense of accomplishment in the present moment, feels grounded. Um, has love and passion and desire in his heart and maybe even a desire to communicate. Okay, so near future for the feminine, Ace of Wands, new vitality. Uh, so I already explained this card earlier with the Three of Wands over there, right? This is that new beginning starting from zero. It's um, a spark of in inspiration. It's go time. And Wand is spirituality. So this is uh, either something to do with creativity, you know, using your talents to create something, or um, living your truth, your higher calling, your purpose. So the near future, the feminine, um, will have this moment of clarity. And this is like a kundalini awakening as well. Whoa, high priest. Star card. And the king of swords. Okay, so the past position is the high priest. So this is a spiritual leader, um, the hierophant. But uh, I like to see this as the high priestess um, mirror image, right? The high priest and high priestess. They are both connected um, to source directly as, as well as with their, their inner selves as well. Um, there's a purity <clears throat> about their spirit. And so this could mean that the feminine 
was in contact with a spiritual leader um, or that she became a spiritual leader, you know, um, sharing her wisdom with others um, or that the Divine Masculine was supporting her in the 5D. This card usually shows up when the feminine is going through a difficult time. You can definitely feel that kind of painful energy in her present moment. So, you know, we've got this strength card, right? It's like the masculine giving her strength to move forward uh, with this card. Okay, anyway, the future position, or sorry, the near future present position is the star card. This is wish granted. You wished upon a star and your, your dreams are being manifested. So I love how we got this, you know, manifestation energy um, of you know, healing and happiness coming towards both um, aspects. So anyway, the um, star card is hope for the future. The worst is over now. Now rest and heal yourself. So the near future, the feminine, um, is feeling hopeful about a new start, a new beginning. Um, and it's, you know, that that is putting, putting her on this higher path, higher calling. Um, and so what I feel here is this calming energy, this shift, this wind of change, but it is a guided energy, you know, with the high priest. Um, so I see a lot of soothing here. And then the future position is the king of swords. This could be an air sign. Um, but the king of swords is a masculine energy who is... A communicator um, there's a lot of mental clarity that I see with with these three cards for sure you know the ace of wands is spiritual awakening it's I know you know it's a thought it's an idea it's inspiration it's you know I can't really explain it but anyway um, the high priest is someone who has um, their crown chakra activated so they're connected to source as well as the collective. Um, and then the King of Swords is all about mental clarity. The mind is free of garbage. Um, you're making decisions that you know are true for you. Um, and so the King of Swords is a, a communicator, so this could be a masculine energy communicating, expressing his truth, making decisions. Um, or the feminine, either way, but it's also an action card. You know, this is planning for for the future, planning for. Um, it's almost not. It's I don't want to say battle, but it's kind of like that. There's something that needs to be done, and so you would need to be in the King of Swords frame of mind in order to, um, you know, activate that plan, take action. Okay, so near future with masculine. Five of Cups, change your focus. So Five of Cups. Um, the Five of Cups is mourning, loss, heartbreak, pain. You know, it's a detach or it's attachment, and when the thing leaves that you're attached to, then it causes pain and heartbreak. So the near future, the masculine, is shifting his focus. Um, or the or the spirit is asking him uh, to shift his focus. Uh, okay, well let's pull the clarifiers. Devil, chariot, and Vaishaka. Okay, so I understand why. You know, there's a lot of heartbreak in the, the masculine's near future is because he's released the devil. The devil is a chain, a codependent relationship, an addiction, self-limiting belief, something holding him back. This was the devil that he released in the past. So it is still an energy that's there and lingering, and it's still causing him pain. Um, however, he's moving away from it. So the chariot is a movement forward. It is taking control of your life, doing things that make you happy, overcoming obstacles, challenges that stand in your way. Um, so it's a directed energy towards your goal. 
the towards emotional fulfillment. Okay, so the masculine hops on their surfboard and rides the wave away from this negative energy. However, there is still pain involved in doing it. So the future position is the base chakra. So this is the lowest chakra, number one. So this is a sense of safety, security, you know, your basic needs are being fulfilled. And so we have kind of that, sorry, um, we have that same, you know, feeling of not, not feeling safe. Some, you know, you're, it's like you guys are mirroring each other. You're both moving away from a negative situation. Um, for the feminine, it's like she doesn't want to be alone. But she knows she can't stay where she is. And so she has to move on. The masculine, something was holding him back. And so, you know, he took control of her, his life and moved forward. However, it's the base chakra in the future is... He's going to have a moment where he's going to question whether or not he did the right thing. Um, you know, this almost echoes the tower down there. You know, like your foundation has been tested on some level. Even though he feels really strong to move forward on his own, you know, detached from that devil completely, move on his own, there's, there's a lot of fear that it's built, that it's um, bringing up. Okay, so um, final come for the feminine. Four of Cups, again. So Four of Cups, I saw that in the tower. It wasn't an actual card. So um, the Four of Cups, we have a masculine who's turned his back um, on a situation, right? So this could be an offer of love that he's not taking or... Um, you know, feeling disconnected, feeling like things have gone stag stagnant. Um, no, the card says opportunity beckons, so there's an offer available. You know, with that Ace of Cups in the past, this is that new beginning. It's a gift from the universe, so there's an offer. Um, and then we have, actually we have two Aces, which is very cool, and then you know, we have this disconnected energy with the Five of Pentacles and another disconnected energy with the Four of Cups. So there is a new offer that is being given, right? So it could be the feminine offering or it could be the masculine. But either way, there is abundance and gifts that are going to be or have been showering down. Um but they haven't been received yet. So let's see what the clarifiers are. Ten of Cups, Heart Chakra, Three of Swords. Okay, so Ten of Cups past position. This is, um, I mentioned the Ten of Cups over here with the Nine and the Ace. That's, you know, completion, feeling like you've made it. But, you know, we have a synchronicity here with the Ten of Cups in the past. And the nine and an ace in the past, which is uh, the ten, but here it's a disconnected energy. Whereas here, the ten is whole energy. Do you understand what I mean? Like the nine plus the one is ten, but it's a disconnected ten. Whereas here, it's a whole ten. So the feminine holds that ace of cups in her hand still. The nine of pentacles is the masculine. Um, so there is a sense that it came together, but then, um, you know, the feminine is feeling that disconnected. Anyway, the heart chakra uh, is the present position, final outcome. So this is a heart opening. It is feeling unconditional love, feeling that bliss with the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is harmony, peace, and, you know, um, feeling like you your life is perfect. You know, it's a happily ever after. Uh, and the heart chakra is a moment of pure love and your, your heart just blasts wide open. Now the three of swords in the future position, that's heartbreak, loss, pain. You know, I mentioned it in the uh, 
house of cards down there so i'm going to pull a clarifier to find out exactly what that means because we got two separate energies here we got heartbreak and then we got you know unconditional pure blissful love so okay spirit what do you mean by the three of swords Because it seems to me like, you know, the Ten of Cups and the Heart Chakra is, is as if that love is returned. That, that thing, that void in your heart is, is filled. Um, but I don't know. Okay, so what do you mean by the Three of Swords? Fighting. The Knight of Swords. So, again, with the air sign energy. Um, the Knight of Swords is somebody who moves forward very quickly. And again, I mentioned that in the House of Cards. That's kind of funny. Um, but the Osho Zen is a little different. So I'll read that to you. Okay. The figure in this card is completely covered in armor. Only his glare of rage is visible, and the whites of his knuckles on his clenched fists. If you look closely at the armor, you can see it's covered with buttons, ready to detonate if anybody so much as brushes up against him. In the background, we see the shadowy movie that plays in this man's mind, two figures fighting for a castle. An explosive temper or a smoldering rage often masks a deep feeling of pain. We think that if we frighten people away, we can avoid being hurt even more. In fact, just the opposite is the case. By covering our wounds with armor, we are preventing them from being healed. By lashing out at others, we keep ourselves from getting the love and nourishment we need. If this description seems to fit you, it's time to stop fighting. There is so much more available to you if you just let it in. Start by forgiving yourself you're worth it. So what I felt right away was, you know, this feeling of having to disconnect and move away from an energy. Um, it, it seems to me that it's going to cause a lot of pain and disconnection in the future. It's like, you know, you, you had this image of how things were going to work out for you. Um, but it's like something is playing with your heart. Something is um, causing the feminine to close off, to become rigid. So, you know, these two cards are the final outcome future position here. So the feminine um, heal. You know, I thought you guys were ready. <laughs> You know, in the past here, we have this unconditional love, healing energy, then the Five of Pentacles. Disconnect, walking away, feeling alone, right? So, again, there needs to be a turn towards <clears throat> healing here. Um, so Spirit is definitely asking you to let go, to heal, to open yourself up. Don't be this victim, you know, don't... Um, Yeah, don't react. Um, and if if you have to leave a situation, then you're doing it for yourself, um, and you know not for anybody else. So a shift in perspective is definitely required here. Okay, so final come for the masculine. Shine the sun again. Be the sun again. Reminds me of that song by Kenny Starr. Um, anyway, uh, shine the most positive arcana in the deck. Look at this. It's like he's really finding his light. A lot of power, a lot of strength. Now there is a feminine being represented here. So, you know, the sun is coming in the future. This is the final outcome. So this could be the feminine coming into his life. Um, or again, you know, the sun is a new beginning, um, abundance raining down on you, illumination, your, your turn to shine. Six of cups. 
Five of Cups, and Six of Pentacles. Interesting. So the Six of Cups is a reunion, somebody from the past coming back, somebody from childhood or a previous life. Um, so it's in the past position. So there's been contact, there's been this loving connection in the past that the masculine has been thinking about. Um, he has some beautiful memories of this connection and um, for him, you know, this connection really opened him up, warmed him, um, showed him love, you know, pure innocence, love, and he desires that connection back. The Five of Cups is the same card that's in the near future, that's heartache, loss, you know, maybe he's feeling that pain from the disconnect, okay, and um, he finally releases himself, moves forward. The Six of Pentacles, same card down here, sharing your life with somebody in the 3D reality. Remember, I went through that story of how that tower came down um, because he wants to build this new new world for himself, which he, he is working on. Um, so here we got that cohabitation card again. So it's sharing your life with somebody in the 3D reality. It's an even exchange of energy. So I see reunion here because of heartbreak. Um, and this explosion of, of happy feels and new beginnings as, um, as a result of possible, you know, contact in the 3D as well. All right, so um, what is the feminine bringing into the union? Take the lead, Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands showed up over here. Um, the masculine's past position. So you both made a choice to live a life that was more in line with your higher calling, your true purpose, you know, your something that makes you feel real, authentic. So you both made that choice, you both walked through that door, and so there's a sense that, you know, you feel empowered. Um, and so there's work to be done to make your dreams a reality. Uh, but spirit is saying you're on the right track, keep going. So, you know, take the lead in terms of how, you know, this energy is presented to the union. It's like the feminine is taking control of her own life, you know, making decisions, um, or spirit is asking her to take the lead, you know, reach out, third eye chakra. High Priestess and the King of Cups. Huh. Okay, so past position, third eye chakra. Uh, that's what the High Priestess uses. You know, I mentioned it earlier. The High Priest is someone who has the crown chakra activated. Um, but, you know, they do listen to their intuition as well. Um, it's kind of, it goes both ways. And same thing with the, the um, High Priestess. Uh, the intuitive part of her is more activated than the crown chakra because she's going within, listening to her own voice to guide her. Um, so she, there's been an activation on the feminine side in the past. <clears throat> she can see her future. She, she knows what's right for her. And so in the present moment, she's being represented as this divine goddess, um, this all-seeing all-knowing um, <clears throat> one moment priestess future position is the king of cups so remember we got the queen of cups here um, so the king of cups is you know somebody who is emotionally balanced somebody who can show love um, who's not afraid to love and again the love is pure and unconditional um, so it kind of rings the same kind of energy as that Six of Cups up here. You know, pure, innocent love, detached, no strings. So this masculine energy is coming towards her. Um, so she could have graduated from the queen to the king, um, or she tracks her twin counterpart into her life, the king, the one she's felt disconnected from. Um, the king, you know, that has made her feel like the Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups in the past and the Heart Chakra opening. 
So this loving king is coming to her as a final outcome. It's whether or not she is going to close off to it or not. It's, it's kind of what I'm feeling here. So, um, you know, she is very strong, powerful. Um, so I'm almost feeling like and the spirit is kind of saying to take the lead, to reach out. Um, I don't know. So, okay, I'll pull and I'll show a card for that. I don't really want to do a lot of reading. But, okay, what do you mean by this entire series of cards, Spirit, please? Compromise, Six of Pentacles, again, that's the third time it's showing up. So, Six of Pentacles here as a final, final outcome, and then uh, that's the energy that she would be bringing in to the unit. Oh, where's my book? Oh, it's on my lap. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Mercury retrograde. Fun, fun. Okay, so compromise. Don't be clever. Otherwise, you will remain the same. You will not change. Half techniques on the path of love and half techniques on the path of meditation will create much confusion in you. They will not help. But to ask for help is against the ego. So you try to compromise. This compromise will be more dangerous. It will confuse you more because it's made out of confusion. It will create more confusion. So try to understand why you hanker for compromise. Sooner or later, you will be able to understand that compromise is not going to help. And compromise may be a way of not going in either direction. Or it may be just a repression of your confusion. It will assert itself. Never repress anything. Be clear-cut about your situation. And if you are confused, remember that you are confused. This will be the first clear-cut thing about you, that you are confused. You have started on the journey. So, confused. Don't compromise. You know, compromise is the main energy. Don't compromise. You know, when you turn within and you listen to your self, not what somebody else tells you about a situation, what you, your heart is saying, what your intuition is saying. When you follow that and you don't compromise that, um, you know, that's where your confidence and self-worth comes from. Okay, so um, she's not compromising is what I see here. She's not giving herself um, in, in a way that is detr detrimental to herself. You know, and she's taking the lead, and it's almost like she's putting up boundaries to protect herself. Um, and if she's feeling like she, maybe she's not making the right decision, um, really, then that means that she's compromising. Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, well, you know, if I do this, it's going to hurt so and so and so and so. Or it's going to, you know, I can see this chain of events happen if I do this. And, you know, don't compromise your self-worth. Do what's right for you. <clears throat> Apparently it will bring either love into your life or um, it will open your heart chakra up even more. So, Okay, well, Kurt doesn't want to be covered, so I won't cover him then. Okay, so what is the masculine bringing in? The tower, rebuild. Wow. Okay, so remember the tower came in, the house of cards came in in the past. So he's still dealing with this tower energy or or he um or the he's bringing the tower to the union, right? So this is the main energy card. So what I was feeling down here with the tower is that he was welcoming the tower. So he hmm, Okay, well, let's pull the clarifiers. King of, of Wands, yeah, he's taking the lead. Four of Pentacles. And the Six of Swords. So, past position, King of Wands. And you can see that energy definitely down here with the Tower and the Judgment and the Sun card. You know, the Sun is masculine energy empowerment. And that's what the King of Wands is all about. He's somebody... Who is unchained who is um 
you know, takes the lead, who makes decisions, who doesn't give a fuck about what other people think, you know, um, he takes control of his life. So he's a leader. So he found his power, the king of wands. Uh, and one, again, is spirituality. So there, there's a lot of fire happening on the masculine side, for sure. Um, and so the present moment is the Four of Pentacles. So this is somebody who is being closed off or holding on too tightly to the 3D reality. So this is what he's bringing into the union. The Four of Pentacles um, is being closed off. Okay, so either he's not allowing the tower to happen or... I'm getting the same message as I did last week of him closing off, not listening to the external reality because he's already made a decision that he wants his freedom with the King of Wands in the past there. So, he and, and also with the Six of Swords here in the future position, you know, we have a, um, a movement to calmer state of mind away from this um, negative energy, the thing that's causing him to be closed off uh, the Six of Swords is making that decision to move on to calmer waters, right? So negative thoughts, negative energy, negative people, negative situation, but it's a movement away. So in the present moment, although he feels powerful and he feels passionate and lit up, there's a sense of him closing off, holding on to something from the past or something still holding on to him. And ultimately, he will release himself from it, okay? Um, and it's going to cause heartbreak in, in the future, five cups, right? But it has to be done um, so that you can live your truth. So this, you know, this reading sounds very, very, very similar to last week's reading. Okay, so foundation... The dreams coming true, nine of cups. So that's the same card over here. Um, so, you know, here we have uh, um, two hands holding the universe. Um, you know, so there's like so much love coming into both of your lives. This connection is really opening both of you up. You're feeling true love. You feel, you know, hopeful. Um, you know, you feel this deep sense of satisfaction in terms of this connection. Although there's things that are separating the two of you at the moment, um, that deep love is there and it's bonded, uh, bonding the two of you together. So again, with the nine of cups. So let's see what the confirmation card is. So the feminine first, queen of wands, and the masculine. The nine of pentacles, huh? Okay, so the Queen of Wands, the Queen of No Fucks Given. So the masculine is bringing in the King of Wands from the past. So again, we got the King and Queen um, from the same suit. So there's this match of energy. Um, you know, you guys are both feeling this deep, passionate love as the cups. And then the wand energy, spirituality, passion, desire, you know, um, unchained. So the feminine is bringing in the queen of wands. Um, this, again, fire, uh, the center of attention, very charismatic, shining her light. Okay, and so that's what the masculine is moving towards. He had to find his own light first before he could um, be a match, is what I feel with the twin, um, with her, his, his feminine. So the nine of cups is um, wishes coming true, dreams coming true true um and the nine of pentacles again same card the masculine was bringing in the present moment right so he's bringing that in as a foundation so that's a beautiful grounded energy um again it's independence freedom um a lot of success in the 3d reality it's harvest abundance the, the fruit is dropping from the branches so two nines is feeling like you've arrived you know not only in love but in this 3d reality um, and so, yeah, love and wishes and dreams are coming true, and you are the light for each other. There's, it's beautiful. You both are releasing, and you both are shining. Okay, so crowning energy and space chakra, same card that is in the near future, future position for the masculine. So safety, security, um, feeling 
grounded. Um, you know, and with all this foundation and destruction that's happening here with the towers, um, I know the towers hit me, you know, it, it, I do feel shaky. I feel like I'm being tested for sure. It almost feels a little set up to me as well. Do you know what I mean? It's like, wow, really that happened and then that happened and then that happened. Okay. So obviously spirit is trying to tell me something and I, I need to start listening. So crowning energy, both sides feel unsafe. So the feminine first, nine of swords and the masculine. Sacral chakra. So the nine of swords is um, worry, guilt, fear, anxiety, stress, inability to sleep, inability to um, get out of the mind, basically, right? There's nightmares, night terrors. So the feminine, her sense of security is really rocking her world and I can definitely relate to that for sure um, it's hard not to be pulled back into the mind um, so a, tr a shift towards you know creativity and you know my higher calling and healing myself is what is required um, and walking away from you know negatively negative draining situation for sure um, okay, so the sacral chakra for the masculine is where your emotions are stored. So this is number two. This is, he doesn't feel safe in expressing his emotions. He, he's afraid to feel emotions. Um, and that's maybe why he's holding on to the tower. Maybe that's why he's closing himself off. Um, but ultimately, like I said, the chariot keeps showing up, keeps showing up. It's going to, it's your boat out, basically. You know, are you going to choose your freedom or are you going to continue to stay where you're at? And, you know, um, that cycle will continue to repeat itself over and over again. All right, so heart chalk, or sorry, yeah, heart-centered energy is, wow, not surprised at all to see this, the master, the devil. So there you go. Um... So, for both aspects, there is a chain in the 3D reality that's holding them separate. Um, so, you know, this battle is within yourself. You can choose to release yourself at any time and walk out that door. You're free to go anytime you want. So, if it's a codependent relationship, that needs to be kicked to the curb. If it is a belief that you're not good enough, you know, you're overweight or um, you don't have enough material possessions to offer somebody or there's things in your closet you're trying to hide, well that needs to be released. Okay, if you're drinking yourself into an early grave, um, deal with that shit. Okay, you need to come to the relationship clean and clear of garbage. So leave that at the door and deal with your shit so that you guys can come together. Fool card for the feminine and wow, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so Ace of Cups past, Ace of Wands future, and the masculine is bringing the Ace of Pentacles into the 3D. So this is a brand new start. And you can see that percolating over on the masculine side. Um, you know, he keeps on getting this nine of pentacles. So the feminine is actually actually holding that final pentacle that she's going to be giving to the masculine and vice versa. Um, you know, there's this exchange of energy that I definitely feel. New starts, new beginnings, energy coming in. So, um, so this could be a brand new beginning in the 3D reality. It is also abundance, you know, but what I'm really seeing here is you hold the key in your hand to release your heart from that box, okay? So the feminine is bringing in the fool's card. How beautiful. So this is starting from zero, the beginning of the fool's journey. Um, so she's ready to take a leap of faith. She, you know, there's a sense that she's already detached from 
something in the material world. She's already turned her back on the devil. Okay, she's already walked away from it or is in the process of doing that. So she's ready for a new beginning. He's ready for a new beginning. Um, however, it seems to me that the devil is still um, the master at the moment. Okay, so the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. Wow, sacral chakra. So the base chakra and sacral chakra has showed up twice in the reading. There is the heart chakra, third eye as well that showed up. Um, however, <clears throat> that was more on the feminine side than on the masculine. So the masculine is bringing in these lower chakras. So again, you know, but this is the overall energy for the reading. So both are actually feeling this emotional turmoil. That's right, because I mentioned that earlier with the Queen of Cups. She's feeling emotional at the moment. And so is the masculine. The masculine's got to get in touch with his emotions, express himself. Um, and the feminine needs to release her emotional shit. Um, yeah, so I'm seeing a lot of clearing for the next two weeks. Um, and healing. Okay, but really, you are both finding this amazing strength within. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pull two cards from, call it Baron Reed, Wisdom of the Oracle, and I will read those to you for the final message from the universe. So I'm not going to be putting out the masculine and feminine readings today. Um, I will do them in the, in the coming days, so it will be more of an update. Um, to the connection okay so either I'll do it the next coming days or I'll do it you know in one week at the midpoint okay so for the feminine first imagine and thinker it's like thinker imagine you're both in your minds so Feminine got number 20. Okay, so, I'll read. yeah, okay, so imagine essential meaning, turning imagination into ma manifestation, creative thought, visualization, the power of aligning um, imagery and feelings, creativity illusions so that's what I was feeling with that ace of wands there there's this this clarity in the near future for the feminine okay so the message who do you want to be what do you need to believe in in order to have the life that you want um, you were gifted with the power to imagine if you can dream it you can create it this is a time when your imagination is the key to manifesting the life you desire Spend time daydreaming, fashioning a vision board to help yourself see your goals uh, or meditating. Allow the power of your creativity to deliver images of what, you, what feeds your soul. Then allow your feelings to mingle with your inspiration and imagine these things being real right now. Then repeat. What you imagine will become your belief and soon you will see that these things come to pass in the outer world as if by magic. The relationship message. In matters of the heart, it's easy to daydream about others as a means of connecting to the person. While that's romantic, if you, if you want this relationship to be real, you need to go for it, not just dream about it. Now is the time to move beyond the daydreams and into reality, beyond illusion into fruition. Relationships are about relating. So step out onto the dance floor where imagination partners, sorry, where imagination partners with manifestation, what? Let me just read that sentence again. Relationships are about relating, so step out onto the dance floor where imagination partners with manifestation. Oh yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Um, the message of this card is that the person 
with attributes you have imagined will enter your life. You'll be changed for the better. Imagine that. So what you imagine, you manifest. So somebody you've been thinking about, you know, you got this third eye thing happening with the union. If you think about it, you will manifest it. Um, you know, up here we have that Four of Cups with the fighting. So um, you've been desiring this Ten of Cups. You know, your heart shock world will be open, but um, just be careful of your energy. Don't close off. And, you know, there's a sense that you want to protect yourself. Um, stay where you've been. Okay, so number 44. The thinker. Strategy, being analytical and logical. The message. The ability to reason and strategize is the focus now. Take things at face value and follow the logical path. Your calculations will prove to be correct. For in this moment, there is no deeper meaning than what is obvious. Things are exactly as they seem. You have all the information you need. Keep it simple and you will win the game of life playing right now. Okay, so, um, yeah, he's all about planning and activation here. He's thinking about the future. And, um, and same thing with the chariot. That's planned action, taking control of your life and manifesting. So, awesome. Okay, so I hope this helped. Um, I love listening or reading your comments. So, um, please feel free to do that. And I will see you in two weeks. All right. Cheers, people. Love you.